uh, this is this is a big deal. This is a it's a big day for us around these parts. I mean, can you believe it? By the way, just want to thank everyone. Is it up top? Is that how you say it? Yeah. It's right up top. Up top. Up top. Yeah, just like the first thing I'm gonna do. Up top. Off the top. Off the top. Off the cuff. Off the top. We're gonna thank everybody off the top. It's gonna be off the charts. <laughs> uh, thank you to everybody that likes, subscribes. I feel like so many people shared this last episode. Uh, what's right? Thank you to everybody. Leadership leaning. We just we love you. Uh, we've been together now as leaners for a very long time. I'm excited because today, if I can get my headphones right, today uh, we have a big announcement. Today we're announcing a brand new book. This is my next book coming out this summer. Worried about everything because I pray about nothing. Is that a, that's strong to very strong, I think. Uh, here's the subtitle, How to Live with Peace and Purpose Instead of Stress and Burnout. We do understand that a lot of people are, have stress, anxiety, burnout, and I always think prayer gives us peace and purpose. So today uh, we are doing the reveal of the book, and I have my trusty sidekick Ooh. my rib oh wow my bff my queen <laughs> can we put in some applause here one i mean Riff. just rah, the crowds I can put it leaners put your hands together wherever you are jogging or oh. listening to this podcast Come julia on is on here i am live I'm to you from mulholland drive <laughs> In Bel Air. This introduction is unbelievable. <laughs> I am excited that we are announcing a book and not a baby. <laughs> so that is that is why I'm here, is to celebrate. That we will new, never announce a baby again. A new life that is not in my womb. Yes. <laughs> um, I am so pumped about this. Yes. And um, Get, you, would you like to hold this? This is a different type of baby. This, okay, pass the baby. <laughs> and um, we don't want anyone to look at my nails, but I, I am very very proud of oh, this um cover the, co <laughs> <laughs> I just, I, the no, cover i'm like yes. looking at this and i'm like which no, by the way I am, you hold I'm very it, proud i'm very proud you of holding it up that product. way makes me look at the back of the book which i don't know have no, you seen oh the back gosh, of this he's so cute it's I a, love you it's with a, a stool it's a stool photo i approved this photo you did i approve and deny a, yeah, lot, of a lot of photos i feel like yes uh, this is the I one do, you landed on okay we'll talk about the book and the content in a second but yeah. i do love the cover this is i've said I, this is my favorite cover i think it's our favorite um, it's my it's, it's my favorite it's our best thus far yeah and i and i love the topic and it is Man. my it is my favorite top topic that you've written about um i guess i should say that my my favorite book is the one about our daughter but the I as far as topics and content goes, <coughs> right right um i love well, i was just gonna say because you this is like your powerhouse prayer you for as from the time you were a kid so i'm a rib and a powerhouse this is amazing uh, yes well, th this is exactly kind of <laughs> yes that's who you are it's who you are um you started really praying when you were how old? Like you've been good at prayer. This is to me one of your greatest strengths in life is prayer. How old were you when you first started praying? Like you that you can remember. Uh, I have a vivid memory, probably around Maverick's age, probably five or six. Wow! In an evening service, I grew up uh, where we went to church in the morning, but at night there was no kids church, so we sat in the <laughs> right. services. And I remember going down to the altar. That's a word. Oh, there we go. We went down. I went down to the front and I kneeled and I prayed. And it was my decision to go have a prayer time. Mm. And then I remember really like having a consistent prayer life in elementary school. Wow. And um, wow. I know. Yeah. It's amazing. I know. Thinking about our kids now. and um, Right. It's like our desire for them to learn how to do this. Yeah. Just which I feel like they pray really well over food. I got to admit it. Totally. And quick. And yeah. Very quick. Yeah, yeah. Quick. Well, I don't know. The four year old, he does kind of. He wants his moment. Wander he in his, his food prayer. But yeah. Yeah. I just think that's an amazing gift that your parents gave you. And I think, you know, th this book has been written for people that don't know how to pray really or need to be reminded of the power of prayer because I do feel like 
we live in a culture that is just so stressed out. Right. We've experienced the last couple of years just crazy days and crazy times, and some that we've never faced before. Mm -hmm. And there is a feeling, I think, in every field, in every industry of burnout. Um, you know, millions of people, we see it every month, kind of the, the update of how many millions of people quit their job. Right. They're exhausted. There's burnout. There's fatigue. There's stress. There's tons of anxiety. Yeah. And I always feel like um, the gift that you and I were given by our parents is the ability to pray. Mm -hmm. I think that people learn how to pray by doing it with someone. Right. Someone models it for you. So you kind of listen and go, oh, that's what I should say. Mm -hmm. That's how it works. Um, and that's kind of what this book is for is like to get, you know, people praying because I do feel like without prayer, there's just an overwhelming sense of like, I can't do this. Yeah. The scripture that this whole book was birthed out of Philippians four, six and seven, be anxious for nothing, but in everything through prayer and supplication with Thanksgiving, yeah. let your requests be made known to God and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. And I think that if we don't learn how to do that, our hearts and our minds are totally vulnerable to any lie and any temptation mm -hmm. that life can bring us. So I just feel like I get excited because I feel like we can transition from that burnout and stress mm -hmm. into complete, like you mentioned Georgia a moment ago, we've experienced peace in times when it's like, we should have no peace. Right. You know? Yeah. I, I mean, I, it, I don't know if you mentioned the title, but it says worried about everything because I pray about nothing and it's not nothing. It's nothing. <laughs> right. um, it's not nothing. And uh, I, I think everyone has experienced some sort of anxiety. I understand that there's different varying levels of anxiety. Right. Um, but anxiety really is just fear of the unknown mm. in the future. Mm. And once we identify what specifically we're fearful about. So is that failure? Is right. that, um, is that pain? Is that what, what that is mm. that we can't control and we face it head on? Mm. I think that does diminish some of our anxiety. I think that's what prayer does because it, it allows us to face and confront. Right. So I think that is going back to Georgia. I think that is what we did is that what was the inevitable? What was the, what was the right outcome that we were fearful of? Right. And really that was her passing away. And so we were able to, with prayer, face that head on. Speaking of head on, I yeah, can, uh, I, mean, I, can I love I can totally a drum tell solo. that the drum uh, yeah. kit, we are recording this uh, live from Bel Air, like I said, <laughs> at our pastor's <laughs> gathering, which is happening today. Um, and I think that the team will probably be telling them, please to stop doing that just for a second. Um, because it felt like, uh, the anxiety yeah, and was, the, um, the stress the and the burnout was actually trying to invade <laughs> for one moment, the microphone and the, the frequency. So Juan, we gotta, we gotta knock this off real fast here. Um, uh, but yeah, I, I totally agree with that. And I think that, you know, for all of us, like we all are under pressure. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of, there's financial pressure, there's relational pressure, there's all kinds of things that all of us are under. And I think that I'm only worried about the things I'm not praying about. Yeah. Everything that's covered in prayer, I feel good about. And years ago, um, there was a book that came out, Too Busy Not to Pray. Mm -hmm. And I think that that, is, that title really resonated with me is that I'm too busy. I got too many things going on. Think about your life. You're a parent, you're a pastor, you have a special needs daughter. You've got a lot of uh, opportunities that come your way. You've got demands relationally. You've got employees. You've got a whole world that's going on. Everything that's pending your life. If you don't pray about it, it's like you're going to get overwhelmed. And I think prayer is, you know, we talk about in this book, but prayer is just simply a vehicle mm -hmm. that takes us to God mm -hmm. who has everything we need. Mm -hmm. So everything we need is found in Jesus. And so I get excited about people just learning how to get in the vehicle and then riding straight to, you know, the Bible calls it the throne room. But when you get into his presence, it's everything that I need is in his presence. So I'm very excited about the book. I'm very excited about, I, I feel like churches need to read this. I feel like groups need to go through it. Small, it's small group curriculum, in my opinion. I just, I get excited because 
on a macro scale, our country and our world does not have a shot without prayer. Right. You know, one of my favorite promises in all the Bible is in Second Chronicles when God says, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, turn from their wicked ways. He says three things. He said, I will forgive their sin. I will heal their land. Sorry, two things. I will forgive their sin. I, I was like, is there a third? I will hear, I will hear forgive, and heal. And, and that promise that we can stand on, that when I go to God, he's going to do these things. Mm-hmm. America needs this. I feel like the church at large, we need to be a praying people. Mm-hmm. Jesus obviously says, the church, my house, will be called a house of prayer. Mm-hmm. I talk about this in the beginning of the book, that the, whole, the genesis of this whole book was from a trip to Bogota, Colombia. Mm-hmm. And just the power of prayer. So I believe in the power of a praying mother, yeah. the power of a praying wife, the power of a praying father, the power of a praying person. Yeah. And if you're single, you need to pray. If you're an entrepreneur, you need to pray. If you're inheriting a business, you need to pray. You need to pray. No matter what stage of life you're in, mm-hmm. we all need to pray. I think the intimidating thing about prayer is most people didn't have the luxury like you. They just don't know how to do it. Right. No one likes to do something they're not good at. Right. So this book is hopefully just teaching you like we, we got to learn how to do this because it's a big gap if we don't. So. Wow, uh, you are like inspiring me to pray right now. I'm, should I pray for you? Yeah, something? pray for what? <laughs> I think you should pray. Pray. Can you just pray right now? Pray for yeah, I love this. our day. Pray for us. Pray for just just pray and then pray for the listeners that are leaning in right now. And yeah, and I and then that. here we go. God, we just thank you. Um, God, we thank you that we yes. have access to you. God, we thank you. Even right now, anyone that's listening that doesn't know how to pray, that you would just um, reveal yourself to them, speak to them. God, I just thank you for um, anyone that's listening right now who is in need of a miracle, who's in need of perspective, who is in need of a revelation of your love. God, I just pray right now that you would speak to people. God, I just thank you, uh, even for this book right now, that it's going to touch people, that it's going to inspire people. It's going to give people uh, great instructions and insights on how to access a conversation with you. God, I just thank you for what you're doing. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Beautiful. Thank you so much. So, so awesome. So I want to encourage everybody out there, Get a copy, get on Amazon, get on Target, get on wherever books get are sold, on Target. get okay. a group, buy it for my whole running joke is that everyone has a cousin that needs Jesus. So buy a copy for you and a cousin, a coworker, buy five copies, hand them out. I have a friend that has a box of books of a book he really believes in. He keeps in his trunk to hand out. I, I just it. think that is the coolest idea. Maybe get a box of these and be like, hey, are you stressed? Are you burnt out? You have anxiety? You got to read this. So Our trunk is filled with sports. sports <laughs> yeah, baseball right and, yeah, all and the pickleball. Things. That's right. But, um, but we love you, Leaners. Thank you so much. Thank you for uh, getting involved with this. Here we go. It's new book time. Worried about everything because I, I pray, pray about, about nothing. nothing. We're going to change it. Love you. Love you.